what's up guys it is King Alpha here and welcome back everyone to a brand new video here on the channel today ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get some custom cursors on your Mac this is very very simple and any of you guys watching this video can do this very easily if you guys do go and enjoy today's video a like ratings appreciated make sure to subscribe to the channel help me reach 10,000 subscribers it's a big goal but we're heading for it uh, so I really appreciate you guys helping me on my journey and I uh, ding the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos but without further ado guys let's just hop straight into it alright guys so step number one go down to the description on your way make sure to drop a like subscribe but head down to the description and click the first link that you guys see and that link will take you to this website right here you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see mousescape 1813.zip now this is the actual application that we're going to be using to get the custom cursors. So go ahead and click on this zip file. It's going to start the download. Uh, once it downloads, uh, you're just going to go ahead and double click it. It's going to be this little mouse icon that you guys see over here. So just go ahead, open it up. Uh, it's going to open and it should say like a little notification thing that's going to pop up and you're going to click open and you should get an error. That's okay if you do get an error, click the little Apple logo, go to your settings and your uh, system preferences and go to security and privacy and right here at the bottom it will say blah 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 wants to open up whatever because uh, the app will most likely get denied that's the thing about Mac they don't allow you to like download anything from the internet so anytime you download something you just have to go here and accept it so just go ahead do that click open anyway and then once you've done that go out and you can then reopen it and everything will be good to go now when you open up the application mine looks like this because I already have some custom cursors but your guys is probably going to be completely aim empty just like a gray blank so that's okay if it looks like that uh, the first time I did this I was a little worried too I was like why is mine blank is it messed up no it's not messed up that's just the way that it looks so next step is you're going to go ahead and head back down to the description and click the second link in the description this time and it's going to take you to this website right here now this website is where we actually get the custom cursors that we want this website has millions of different cursors there's so many different kinds literally guys if there's a cursor out there it's on this freaking website okay there is a lot on here and if there's one that you guys are looking for guaranteed it's most likely on here so um, just go ahead and find the ones that you want and go ahead and click on them and it's gonna bring you to a website a website it's gonna bring you to a page that looks a little like this do not click download what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this little box right here where it actually previews the cursor you're going to right click and click save image as once you do that it's gonna take you here and uh, you can change the name if you want that's up to you uh, or you can just leave it like this it doesn't really matter because once we actually add it on we're just going to be deleting the file so you really don't have to name it uh, and then make sure you're sending it to your desktop after you do that click save I'm not going to because I already have it so we can go ahead and close Google there and from here what you guys are going to do is open up Mousecape if you don't have it open already you're going to click on it because you guys see up here in the top left there's my Apple logo finder file edit view go window help so click on Mousecape, and as you guys see, when I do, these uh, windows up here will change. So now it says Mousecape, File, Edit, Capes, Window, Help. Click on File, New Cape, and it will add a new one. You're going to click on that one, right click, and then click Edit. It's going to bring you up a little sub-menu here. You're going to click the plus in the bottom left, click Unknown, Type, you're going to put as arrow, very important, make sure it's arrow. And from here, go ahead and take the cursor that you downloaded and drag it into the 1x slot. And boom, you guys can see it is now in there. Now from here, you're, you can change the frames. That's mainly for the animated ones, so we're not going to talk about that today. Frame duration, same deal. Now the ones that you are going to have to, ha have to worry about is the hotspots and the sizes. So in your hotspot, if you guys will notice, I'll full screen it here. It might help you guys see a little bit. Well, not really. Um, I, on your screens, I'll have a zoomed in version. But um, that little red dot that you guys see, that is where your actual like cursor clicker is going to be. Okay, that's your highlighter. So you guys see how far away it is from like the tip of the finger. So we need to move where our, we are actually going to be pressing down so it actually matches with our new custom one. So that's where the hotspot comes in. So you're just going to go ahead and put in some numbers 
and uh, you're gonna go ahead and line it up so you can see I put in the number nine there and now it's like perfectly on that little uh, like uh, axis right there going up and down you can see it's perfectly lined up now left and right we need to um, we, or yeah we need to bring it down so in the second one we're gonna click nine as well and as you guys can see the red little dot is like right at the tip of the finger now so from here once you guys have done everything you need to if you need to make it a little bit bigger you can change the sizes but from here just click this little like X in the top left and then click save and once you guys do that it will close that window and from here go to the one that you want right click and click apply now look my cursor is still default at the moment but as soon as I click apply boom it changes into the Mario one which is really cool now it is kind of small so again if you do want to increase the size you can do so and then I have a couple different ones here I'll show you guys I have this one this one's probably my favorite one so far this is kind of like a Chroma one a little RBG here normally it's animated but it's not at the moment but this one's really cool I like this one you know pretty simple here's like a Minecraft sword one kinda cool as well here's a pickaxe that's what the pickaxe one looks like the little tip of the pickaxe is what it is there's a different pickaxe one this one's like uh, the um, like the very tip of the left side there's the cursor so you can see there where it's kinda coming from so you know kinda like I'm mining it and then we have the ray gun one. I have, I have a ray gun one as well, which is pretty cool. You can see this one's pretty tiny as well. Probably should increase the size on this. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get custom cursors here on Mac. And from here, you don't need this file. You can just go ahead, trash it, empty your trash. You don't need it. It's going to stay right here. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said in the beginning, if this video did help you guys out in any way, shape, or form, a like rating is appreciated. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and ding the bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. And as always, I love you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!